everyone, it's Bob Perkins, and it's so good to be back to talk to you, the sales community. Many of you know, after a, a very short retirement period of about 40 days after AISP, I joined the Crystal Nose team. I'm so excited that together we share a vision of really elevating the human side of sales. That's what we're going to start with today. Welcome to First Know Your Buyer. And with us today, we have Drew D'Agostino, who's the founder and CEO of Crystal Nose. Drew, welcome. Thanks, Bob. I'm really glad to be here. Um, I wish you told me to bring a jacket to Arizona. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> but yeah, and I'm really grateful you decided to join us full time. It's going to be fun. It is. And uh, we're going to start with setting the stage for this First Know Your Buyer series. We're going to be out each week, a three to four minute tip. Today, we're going to set it up. And Drew, you and I have talked a lot about the state of sales and the buyer and all of the different ways people are trying to reach the buyer or clients. And what are your thoughts on the state of sales today? Yeah, this has been, 2023 is an interesting year for sales. I think there are two underlying forces that are really just driving a lot of digital pollution. Mm -hmm. called, we were referring to this as digital pollution. It's yeah. just, if you ask any executive buyer about their inbox, <laughs> whether it's on like LinkedIn or Gmail or whatever, they'll tell you it's overwhelming mm -hmm. and not just on the top of funnel, but also as you get entered into a sales process. Yep. I think those two forces that are creating that sense of overwhelm and that noise are economic and technological. Um, so the economic side, we just got out of this huge bull market mm. for years where it became the norm to overhire. And the way that companies would hit their top line growth targets is just let's throw people at it and mm. lots of SDRs, lots of BDRs. And now you see a lot of like the kind of results of that when the economy slows down a bit, but the tactical for the buyer, what that has meant is just how many people are going to email me in a single day or right. keep contacting me from the same company. It's kind of a revolving door. So lots and lots of growth at all costs strategies. Mm -hmm. That's been driving a lot of the noise thus far, but now it's probably going to change and shift different flavor of the same problem. Not necessarily as much over hiring, but probably a lot more people trying to squeeze as much value as they can out of their prospect list. And just mm -hmm. companies under a lot more pressure and doing a lot, using a lot more of those tactics and doubling down on them. So I think that's the economic part of it. The technology side, most of the viewers have probably seen the just not necessarily the rise of the core AI technologies, because those have yeah. been there, like GPT-3, but just the application layer now being built and just taking off over the last couple of months with ChatGPT and a lot of these accompanying AI tools that are being built on that and then just adjacent to it. Yeah. Um, ultimately, I think there's a window where you can use these yep. tools and, and start really getting an advantage of efficiency. But I think in the long term, it's driving the cost of personalization to zero or even just email outreach or communication, mm -hmm. just like making that base level. And that's going to have a lot of big impacts that I can't really predict, mm -hmm. but I do know it's easier than ever to send an email, especially an email that looks kind of personalized, right. but at the end of the day, it's just a more clever automation. So when all of a sudden everybody's got the tools to do that and you don't need to put the time in, I don't know what that does to the buyer's response. Well, it's certainly, it's pulling the human, mm -hmm. the actual human side of selling out of the equation. That's what we're going to talk about here on mm -hmm. First Know Your Buyer. So let's talk about what to expect in the following weeks. We're going to dig into what's it really mean to know your buyer and what are your thoughts on just teaser for next, <laughs> uh, next few weeks. On that, what's behind that? Behind the phrase, first know your buyer. Yeah. This is a core idea that's underlied crystal that we've had in the background, but now we're really just making our kind of championing this idea. Perfect. Um, and the reason that it's phrased that way is there are a ton of strategies you can use and it's all over the place. You know, tactics for how to write better emails, have better meetings methodologies you can follow throughout the sales process. These are all great things. Yep. As someone who has had to learn sales as I go mm. over the last like eight years of running Crystal, because I'm a software engineer, <laughs> I have had to learn how to sell while trying to you know figure out how to build the business. I have learned just in my own experience and then from talking to hundreds of Crystal customers, many of whom tend to be the ones who are at the top of their sales organizations. Mm. Ultimately, when all else fails, just learn about the person that you're selling to and learn more. 
And that includes stuff that's very in line with our product, like personality and behavior. But that includes things that are very situational, very much about their economic motivations, learning about internal company structure and all of these things, which just take some time and diligence. The goal of this exploration is not for us to just preach our ideas because I think we only have so many of them. Yeah. You've got way more experience than I do in this world. But I think what we really want to do is we want to explore that question of if you look through the entire sales process from that first principle of first know your buyer yeah. before anything else, um, where does that lead to and how can that get you out of the numbers game? Focusing on quality over quantity, all those things. I couldn't agree more. Get away from the numbers game, make quality over quantity. And ultimately, when you know your buyer well through lots of different ways, knowing their personality, mm -hmm. listening great, deep discovery, you build trust. And so that's what this is all about. Come on back next week, the week after that. We'll put one of these out each week. It'll be definitely, this was a little bit longer, but the other ones are going to be tactical takeaway tips, three or four minutes. Drew, thanks so much for being here. I'm excited about really seeing the community. We'll see the community at some upcoming events. Even. We'll visit with you via video like this. Thanks for being here with us. Come on back next week. First, know your buyer. Have a great rest of your day.